What's going on my dudes, One Step here, making what I believe to be kind of an unfortunate video. We all knew and we were told that the new season for Mortal Kombat's Invasions, or just the new season in Mortal Kombat 1 in general, season four, I think, Melina's season and, and even Peacemaker and all the big updates coming with all that, you know, Peacemaker, the DLC uh, crossplay update coming, the new Invasion season, the new story season, everything coming has now been delayed. And I don't think it's been delayed by too crazy of an amount. Like if I remember correctly, we were gonna get all these updates uh, somewhere in the middle of February. So as of this recording being February 5th, we were supposed to get things within the next week, week and a half or so. But as you can see here on screen, this is the store. Again, this is February 5th, 2024. Uh, the new store has been updated and shows seasonal items 22 days. And we know they're not gonna do like two different updates. They're just gonna do one big one. So it's not like we're gonna get Peacemaker and the crossplay and everything like that. And then they update the store later, no. Not only has the store's days been updated, as well we can also see that in the invasions menu ignore how much i haven't done yet i've just been kind of like lackluster with invasion so i haven't played too much of it honestly but you can see there in the top right corner 22 days for this current season so yeah it's reflecting in both the store and invasion so again basically confirmed that they are delaying the next big update which again includes as far as we know the cross play updates we're supposed to be getting cross play in february that was told to us by nrs and we assumed okay we're gonna get cross play in february we're getting peacemaker in february that's gotta be the same update for sure because again that just makes sense to do just one big update update so now that we know it's got delayed on both sides the store invasions I, we can always assume we can we can of course assume that uh peacemaker and the crossplay update has also been delayed along with these delays and i'm not gonna lie to you mortal kombat 1 is already as we probably all know already on pretty thin ice like they've had a really rough launch especially within the community with content with price gouging with balances within the roster and the cameos lack of content invasions kind of being lackluster after the novelty of all these things has worn off we as a community have kind of realized oh yeah this is missing a lot and then of course if you are within the fighting game community you're playing street fighter 6 the new tekken 8 and you're seeing what these games are offering within their features and their mechanics and you're going well what is going on with mortal kombat then so again mortal kombat 1 as a game as a community has kind of already been on thin ice and so this delay uh, is not helping their cause uh, to be quite honest with you they need this next update the crossplay update peacemaker whatever else they bring to invasions the store whatever else they bring they need this is going to be a game changer this is going to literally make or break mortal kombat one if they can do crossplay really well and peacemaker is awesome and they do a lot of good balance changes to the whole roster and the cameos they bring maybe a couple new game modes or new features to the training mode or or whatever it may be they have to do these things so well that the whole Mortal Kombat community, the whole Mortal Kombat fan base comes back to Mortal Kombat 1 and goes, whoa, this is what we wanted. This is great. And it keeps their attention. It keeps them coming back to play more. Otherwise, Mortal Kombat's just gonna keep losing fans, which as a fan really sucks because I had high hopes for this game, as I'm sure many of you did. And of course, as a creator also sucks because I'm seeing the big community that I'm part of and I'm a creator for, kind of turn its back towards Mortal Kombat 1 and I kind of can't blame them. Like, yeah, it kind of makes sense with what's going on at Netherrealm, WB taking control and doing what they're doing with Mortal Kombat 1 as a game. It's, it's just very not great. And so I come to make this video to really showcase that uh, yes, all this information, all these updates is being delayed. And again, talking about what it maybe means for the future of Mortal Kombat 1. The game's already kind of going downhill like this pretty slowly. This big update was kind of supposed to be the saving grace and so maybe the delay is a good thing so it can be that saving grace but the delay within itself does not look great within the fans and not only was it delayed but it wasn't even communicated within the community on twitter reddit whatever if you're not on twitter x or whatever that is where the devs ed boone and all that announced the new updates that's where we get the news for mortal kombat 1 and they didn't even tell us hey guys just so you know we're going to be delaying the season and for this reason and x y and z nope no communication from them at all just boom delayed and we're like oh it was like what seven days or whatever now it's 22 days 
announced so we had to figure that out ourselves as players and go wait that's delayed and then piece together all this speculation slash info by ourselves with again no communication from the dev and again that does not look good on them to delay it and not tell anybody about it and just kind of try to go under the radar when come on it's 2024 no one's going under the radar these days i try to have high hopes for this big update you gain cross play peacemaker the new invasion the store and all that i try to have high hopes and, and hope that it does really well and that it will be the saving grace that mortal kombat 1 i think needs but again the delay within itself is not a great look i hope it does great um i don't know man let me know your guys' thoughts down below what do you think of this delay of mortal kombat 1 uh season 4 invasions the store or peacemaker all that stuff do you think it could be a good sign and hopefully this new update will be the saving grace or do you think it's a bad sign and they are struggling i know it's hard but try and stay optimistic maybe it's a good thing if you haven't already subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos for more stuff